Dartmouth-Hitchcock Health's Palliative Care Program is engaged in a unique research project to improve caregiver support. We're delighted to have Beth O'Donnell here with us today, a research project manager, and she'll tell us a little bit more about this program. Welcome. Thank you. So uh, thank you for your time. I'm here to talk about um, Connect Share Care. Um, this is actually um, a project we have been working on for um, a few years now. We co-designed the concept of an online peer-to-peer -peer, uh, health network. Uh, we have built it and we are now implementing it. Um, I'm just gonna orient you to kind of the challenge, the problem that we're trying to face. Um, you know, persons providing support uh, to patients with serious illness need to be able to cope with the circumstances that arise as the, the disease progresses and in bereavement. Care partners may experience adverse surprises during the disease trajectory and in bereavement, fewer surprises can improve health and well-being. One, um, the innovation that we have designed to meet that challenge is an online uh, facilitated network. So here is our innovation. Um, it's called Connect Share Care. Um, our population again is, um, right now our focus is on care partners, uh, caregivers, and um, uh, of people, uh, supporting people that are diagnosed with a serious illness or those who have, it, who have experienced a loss of a loved one. Um, our region of fo focus is New Hampshire and Vermont, um, but we're open, uh, you know, persons that um, live outside of those regions are also welcome, but we do have a focus on trying to get it right for um, people in that region. Um, we have a large team um, in terms of uh, clinical champions and uh, chaplains, patients, uh, caregivers themselves, uh, social workers that have worked with us to uh, design and launch this. So this is just an orientation to what this is. Again, it's an online uh, resource and um, it's uh, support groups is a place for discussions where you can connect with others that share a lived experience. Um, resources are, um, we have prioritized some resources um, on our health network, which um, over our design period had come um, to the forefront in terms of planning ahead, emotional issues, um, uh, practical resources. Um, and then you can see members. Um, and then we have uh, community guidelines, so just rules of the road, and they're pretty short. They're about four things, you know, be kind to one another, be respectful. This isn't a place for, for medical advice. This is a place for connecting with people who share a lived experience, someone else who might be um, on the same path or, or experienced um, a similar um, situation as you. How do you connect with them? How do you affirm your experiences, your emotions, how do you get information? Um, we're trying to facilitate those connections. Here's um, uh, uh, just a highlight of some of the discussions. So someone, a new member came on and I'll tell you what the numbers are about Reiki. Tell me about Reiki, should I be doing it? Um, so people chimed in, here it is and I've done it and this is how it worked for me. Um, naming your feelings was big. Um, we have a whole discussion about just name your feelings for today and um, how are you feeling? And then uh, people chime in and, in and engage with the platform as needed. Um, we have what questions would you ask? So um, if you could find someone else in the same boat as you, what would you ask them? Um, what two things? And then there's been dialogue. So these are all kind of discussions that you can start with the community and ask questions um, and share experiences. And these are our resources. Again, we have prioritized um, certain categories, emotional um, communication resources. And then we worked with our clinical champions, community organizations, patients and families to say, Let's not bombard people with information. Let's try to put just five resources here to get people started. So for instance, with um, it's not shown here, but we have a planning ahead category. The two resources that we have prioritized to show are the advanced uh, care guides for New Hampshire and Vermont. Um, 
again, this is, I'm not going to go in, but this is a larger, this is part of a larger kind of um, effort within the medical, um, within our uh, institution. So a lot of innovations to um, improve the experience of care for um, serious illness. And that goes for the uh, clinical teams, the staff, the patients, and the families. Uh, again, our aim um, to build this, uh, to develop a strategy to get people into this community and test the feasibility and effectiveness of this. These are our member, uh, uh, our measures. Um, again, this is a quality improvement initiative, and so and it's a proof of concept. So, um, can we grow membership? Can we get people engaged? Can we retain people? Um, uh, can can we get our health system to refer care partners to this resource? These are our numbers right now, and we're all kind of in this quality improvement um, uh, bucket. So, but you can see. Um, over if you it's over time our growth over time um and then over on the right you're going to see our numbers right now we have a um desired goal to get to 100 members by the end of this month um i think we are at the beginning of this week we are at 88 members in our community um again engagement so this is looking at um people are they coming back um, what we're finding is people are coming back to the community. They are um, uh, tapping in and, and if they are not posting, they're reading and they're learning. Um, and I should note that engagement isn't always the end all be all for this type of resource. A success might be that someone comes in and says, how do I find paid caregivers to come into my home? And they might get their answer and they might leave. And that's success to us. And then this is also the referrals. So we are trying to be a resource to our um, health system. Um, so there are support groups um, for those people that can get to a support group at four o'clock on a Tuesday. Now, again, we have Zoom, so people are able to maybe get there easier. But this is a different type of um, resource that you can tap into 24 seven and get some answers um, uh, get some questions answered. Again, this is um, just a reference and I'm, I'm mindful of time. So I'm just gonna speed through this. These are some of the posts and this is to give you a sense of kind of what's going on here. You know, everything you have, um, have been feeling, I have been feeling too. What helps me is right now I'm feeling, as I'm reading it, as I'm reading here, I'm not alone. This is what we're trying to create, a community that supports one another, that holds space, that affirms experiences, and helps people get through the day. Um, this is another thing we started. Um, we have been highlighting a story from a member once a month. Um, and we just did one in October. This was someone who had lost uh, their partner to cancer. And he mentioned 14 different things just about his story. This is what I did. This is what helped me. Um, and I just wanted to share. And the posts, the comments um, after that uh, have been pretty amazing in terms of um, thank you for this sharing. And, and here are some lesson learned. I mean, there is obviously a gap in our region. Um, we, we know that people, we um, we originally thought would people get online? People are getting online. And so now we have new questions. Um, I will leave it there because I'm sure I'm over or close to time. Thank you. One thank, you. thank you so much, Beth. What a fantastic resource. Quick question from Gina. Is this just for Darth, Dartmouth Hitchcock patients and caregivers or can anybody from New Hampshire and Vermont join? Anyone can, um, New Hampshire and Vermont can join and we would love to grow. And that's what is essential for this type of community. Um, we are just wanting to really hover in and make it sure it's a resource for our health system, but it's open to everyone. Great. So we're going to say thank you to, to you and move on to our next sponsor. But if you could put your website in the chat for everyone yeah. to see, that would be fantastic. Thank you. Okay, terrific. Next, we have Nicole St. Hilaire from AmeriHealth Caritas. Are you here, Nicole? I sure am. 
Excellent. Well, we're delighted to have you. Nicole is the Director of Member Engagement, and she will discuss some of the resources that you offer. Go for it. Thank you so much, Judy. I have a few slides if it's okay for me to share my screen and it looks like I have the power if everybody can bear with us for a few minutes. Thank you. All right. Can everybody see that? Yes. Super. Thank you, Judy. And I am here today. Uh, my name is Nicole St. Hilaire, and I am the Director of Member Engagement for AmeriHealth Caritas, New Hampshire. Thank you so much. Uh, Beth, I learned so much from your presentation, and so far all the presentations today, this has just been an amazing way to spend the day. So we're very grateful and very proud to support the conference. Um, I'm here today with Judy DeMauro, who's our Manager of Provider Network Management. And as well, we were lucky to get our Manager of Care Management, who had some time this afternoon to join as well, um, Tabitha Method. So uh, for those of you who aren't aware, AmeriHealth Caritas New Hampshire is the third of three managed care um, companies here in New Hampshire that work with Medicaid. Um, we've been here since September of 2019. Um, and, uh, you know, we are super excited to work with you and folks across the state to meet the needs of our members. And our, our, real, um, our real message here today is really one of gratitude. Uh, not only is it the season to be grateful, um, but uh, we really are grateful for all the hard work that everyone here has been doing um, before the pandemic, but most specifically as we, we all go through the, the, the slow and steady grading of what used to be normal into, into a new normal um, and, and really appreciate uh, how difficult those struggles and, and serving folks in the community has been through this challenging time. Um, so AmeriHealth Caritas family of companies uh, is just really proud to be working in New Hampshire um, and our, our mission is really to be good partners and so um, we are here to help people get care, stay well, and build healthy communities. Um, and what's really important is connecting with the folks who are in the community doing the work you do every day. So um, really, you don't want to hear from me drone on about how, how wonderful we are, but we certainly want to work with you and help support our members and our providers any way we can. And we love creative solutions to complicated problems. So um, hopefully we'll hear from lots of folks. But really, I wanted to take just a few minutes and introduce uh, folks to some people who might be able to help everyone in their day-to-day -day work. Um, certainly when it comes to any kind of education, training, outreach, member engagement, opportunities, um, uh, I am just a phone call away. Um, please email or call me anytime. Um, we want to be good partners. We're renewing our, our affiliate membership. We're sorry we let that drop off um, and just really, um, really looking forward to partnering uh, with the organization and all of its members. Um, so please reach out to me if you have anything like that, but uh, I'm going to kick it off to Judy and then to Tabitha to also talk a little bit about um, how they may be able to help you and be a resource for you um, should you need them. Hi, everybody. I'm Judy DeMauro, and I'm the manager of provider network management here at, with AmeriHealth Caritas, New Hampshire. Thank you for having us today because I am super passionate about hospice and home health care as well. Um, if there's anything that you need, any questions, anything related to AmeriHealth, I, I feel that I, I'm a great point of contact for you. I may not always have the answers, but I'm certainly the person who will get you those answers that you need or get you to the right person that you might need. Um, so feel free, I know Nicole is sharing my, my cell phone as well as my email, feel free whichever way you're most comfortable to reach out to me and I'm here to support you in any way I can. Certainly, um, any questions, anytime, reach out. Tabitha? Tabitha, you might be on mute. One second. Okay. Sorry about that. I was talking away on mute. <laughs> so, um, my name is Tabitha Method. <laughs> I am the manager of the care management department here at AmeriHealth Caritas, New Hampshire. Um, so I oversee the team that will work with all of the members that you may be um, needing some help and support with. So any anyone that you're working with who is one of our members, we are happy to help any way we can. Um, we can help with coordinating services, um, you know, talking about their benefits and any of the, the great things that they can access as part of being on our plan. So uh, definitely happy to answer any questions or get any of the, um, the people that you're working with assigned to a care manager so that we can start helping with, um, you know, assisting with resources, coordinating that care and overcoming any barriers that you may be running into. 
So definitely reach out anytime again, phone number, email, whatever works um, better for you is fine. So just reach out with any questions. Thank you, Tabitha. And, and Judy, I think we can yield a few minutes back unless anybody has questions. Again, we are just so proud to support the conference today and, and so proud to partner with all of you and, and are here for your questions and concerns. I don't know if there's questions in the chat. Oh, just Beth, Beth's email or, or that web address, which I'm super excited to look into because that sounds like an amazing resource. I'm a social worker for my background and training. So it's wonderful to hear about that as well. So thank you. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Gina. Thank you everyone so much. Okay, terrific.